Recently, the regulator has taken a step to deepen and expand the bond markets. This is in line with the stated intent of the government. The RBI and SEBI, the market regulator, has directed companies which have a double A or a higher rating and have borrowings of over 100 crore rupees to raise 25% of their requirements via bonds. The order takes impact from the 1st of April 2019. That's not all. SEBI has also made it cheaper to invest in mutual funds. Towards that end, the market regulator has capped the total expense ratio of active funds at 2%. Well, joining us now to discuss SEBI's U-turn on the FPI circular, we have with us the CEO of Dubai Advisors, Dinesh Kanabar. Mr. Kanabar, appreciate you joining us here. You know, the controversial circular issued by the market regulator, which caused a great degree of angst. And finally, we had the FPIs make their representations to the HR Khan Committee. Today, the market regulator is saying the Khan Committee's recommendations have been accepted. I mean, uh, you know, when we last heard from the market regulator, they said that the claims being made by the fund managers were pre Preposterous. What do you make of this 360-degree uh, turn? So if you look, go back to the April 10 circular, which has been the subject matter of the entire controversy, what we are looking at is to say that there were certain norms which were specifically for KYC purposes. Mm. And those KYC norms were now being introduced to say that you will not permit investment by NRIs, PIOs, OCBs, etc. And I thought that probably, if you look at the circular, probably it made very poor reading, first of all. But more important, really, you are going out and mm. saying that because you suspect that maybe there is Indian money or whatever else coming through NRI fronts, you will not permit that investment at all. Mm. Now, there are 20 other ways in which you can find out as to who are the real beneficial owners and KYC is really the answer. But to go mm. back and say that because you suspect that some part of the investment could really be a front for resident Indians, mm. you will close the window of investment, mm. did not make any sense at all. Again, going back to the entire issue regarding control, which was at the heart of the whole thing, merely because there is a control mm. over a fund being exercised by a non-resident Indian and there are several funds, very prominent funds, which are managed from overseas, where the control is with a person of Indian origin, mm. that does not really make the funds tainted at all. So really, uh, I would have thought that the yeah. response which was contained in the 10th April circular was really, mm. pre was really uh, too much of a, uh, a sort of a pendulum swing and not warranted at all. Okay. Okay, so the, you're saying that the charge that uh, the fund managers held out of the circular being discriminatory uh, does hold true and perhaps that is now what is being corrected. So what is the expectation now? Because the market regulator is saying that a revised circular will be issued. So is your understanding or interpretation, because we don't know what are the specific recommendations that the HR committee has given to SEBI, what will be accepted, but for all practical purposes, would it be fair to interpret that the April circular is virtually dead? Um, I had the benefit of going through the Khan committee recommendations, so uh, uh, I really don't know. Uh, SEBI has come out with uh, to say that they are accepting the recommendations of the Khan committee. As to uh, what form of circular will come out, I do not know. But if I go by what Khan committee mm. has recommended, mm. virtually the entirety of the 10th April circular will be set to a not. So what we are saying is that subject to mm. certain criteria, like, for example, uh, NRI is not constituting single investment of 25% of the assets under, manu uh, under management. Uh, all NRIs put together not constituting 49 or 50% of the assets under management, etc., will be permitted. Uh, again, going back to say that uh, wherever there is an FPI sub meeting up with three specific criteria, which is normally met in almost hmm. every case that we know, meaning that the manager is uh, the manager who is controlling is regulated in the overseas country from where the investment is happening etc those mm. are the criteria which are being normally met even otherwise that being so assuming mm. for a moment that the khan committee recommendations are implemented in its entirety what we are likely to see is almost a nullification mm. of the entire circular of 10th april and I might make one other point, uh, uh, Shirin, at this stage, that one of yes. the things about the 10th April circular, which has not been discussed uh, as much as it mm. ought to, is that which are the countries which have yes. not taken effective steps to sort of uh, prevent uh, money laundering and terrorism. And there again, there was a situation right. which right. came up where individual custodians were coming up with their own interpretation. 
and there was again this whole issue regarding Mauritius mm. coming up and where really speaking there was no yes. warrant to go down that path and there was if the 10th April circular would have stood its ground all money coming in from Mauritius again yeah. being questioned irrespective of whether that money was NRI or otherwise. Mm. So hopefully with the Khan committee recommendations, the 10th April circular will go back, okay. will be sort of rolled back and we will see stability in the market. A uh, quick final question, Mr. Kanabar. Some of the other crucial decisions taken by SEBI, FPI involvement or participation in the commodity derivatives market, how significant will that be? And also this business of capping the expense ratio for mutual funds at 2%, uh, what could the implications be? Uh, I, I would say that uh, both of those steps are very welcome. But Shin, uh, whilst I'm answering that, uh, one of the other points I might just like to make is that the five measures which were announced uh, by the finance minister a couple of days back, one which is very, very critical was with yeah. regard to uh, listed uh, non-convertible debentures. Uh, uh, and I, that had killed the oh. entire instrument. That was an instrument which attracted huge amount of foreign investment in the country. And, and the, the, the restrictions which okay. were put with regard to the fact that there ought not to be a single investor, etc., was really killing that market. And I would say that right. uh, uh, apart from the two things that okay. you are talking about, the rolling back of that, and of course we are yet to right. see how is the government going to react to that, is going to be hugely beneficial.